Hello and welcome to Hyperplay RPG, trading as Hyperplay R36S, because this is now your one-stop shop for everything you need to know to get the most from your R36S console, the best handheld emulator in terms of uh, price to performance, but you can make the performance even better. We bought the purple one last year, and that came with an old version of ArcOS. We bought uh, the white one this year. And that also comes with an outdated April 2022 version of ArcOS. And whilst you can get a lot out of the R36S straight out of the box, particularly if you tinker with the emulators, and you can see our tips and tricks video for that. Um, we've done a beginner's guide, which has done absolute gangbusters. We've had about 10,000 views on it. It's proved very popular. Um, and that also says how to update to a newer build of ArcOS from uh, the end of September 2023. But there is now an easier way, and so we believe, and we're going to give it a try and see how quickly we can put on the 20, 2022, December 2023, that sounds right, uh, a new build of ArcOS from the 22nd of December 2023. And this has been specially curated for the R36S, so you don't have to worry about replacing DTB files and getting the names right and all the additional extra steps. All you have to do are these five simple steps. You go and download the uh, new operating system from um, a, a link on Reddit. Uh, you format your new SD card, um, and you once you've downloaded the RAR file for the uh, new ArcOS uh, operating system uh, for the R36S, you unzip it using 7-zip, and then you flash it uh, across to the formatted your new formatted memory card with Rufus. And that is what we're going to do. And we're going to set ourselves a time limit of eight minutes for this. It's going to be close, but we will do our best. So here is the new R36S, uh, or our new one anyway. And it's got the old memory card in here. And when we get to 2 minutes 20, we'll start the clock and see if we can get this done by 10 minutes 20. Let's go. So, using your thumbnail, hopefully you've got longer nails than me, you can get in here and click out the uh, stock operating system. Um, check to see if there's another SD card on the left-hand side, but we didn't get that because we're going to do the one SD card trick. Uh, for both operating system and ROMs. So, yeah, take that out, keep that somewhere safe, and put the console down to one side. Now we need to get busy. So, as shown, you need to go onto uh, this Reddit page. So, type in R36S, ArcOS image, 1215 2023, um, and the words Reddit into your Google search, and it will come up with these two links. Go for the second one. Go for the most recent, the 22nd of December. Click that. Let's start getting this one downloaded as soon as possible. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about problem with the network. Yeah, I'm going to download it anyway. I'm a trusting sort. Probably too much so. It's going to ask where we want to save it. Let's get it saved in... There, yeah, that'll do. That folder. There we go. And the eagle-eyed of you will see that we've got Panzer Dragoon Saga saved there. And you can play that on your R36S once you've got the new Arc OS operating system installed. Right, it's saying there's four minutes to go. So while it's doing that, let's get... While it's uh, downloading the new operating system, let's get our new memory card. Now, recommend Samsung. They are brilliant. Uh, SanDisk, not so much. Sometimes the R36S does not like SanDisk cards for whatever reason. It's a common problem, so suggest you go for Samsung instead. We've gone for 128 gigs because, as I say, we're doing the uh, the one SD card method. It's going to have the operating system on and it's going to have the ROMs on. So, pop this into your computer. We've got a Lenovo laptop which is very basic but does have a micro sd reader incorporated in it as standard so we're going to pop that in two minutes to go on the raw file download okie dokie and we've got to get this done by 10 minutes 20 haven't we so okay so i've popped in the memory card and all is quiet 
we want to format it. So open up SD format. Oh, there you go. It's a very slow computer, which isn't going to help me on the eight minute limit. There we go. Uh, no, no, it's fine. So let's format. Oh, that's Rufus. Okay, make sure you don't use Rufus if you've got them both open. Make sure you use SD formatter. We don't have SD formatter open. Wouldn't you know it? Let's go and find it. SD formatter. Okay, there we go. Got the app, have we? Yeah, we are really are making this hard for ourselves. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to allow? Yes. Yeah, man, I want to do it. As, uh, if you're into this scene, you'll know that there's a guy on YouTube who says that. He is extremely popular. Right, I don't really don't want Rufus up at the moment. I do want SD formatter. Let's also minimise that little crib sheet. Okay, 40 seconds until the RAW file's downloaded. So let's get this formatted. SD formatter will put it into, yeah, man, I want to do it. Um, sorry, I am def desperately uh, cribbing off Russ from Retro Game Core who's very good. I uh, highly recommend his videos. Not that he needs our recommendation, he's so popular. Okay, it's in XFAT now, which is what you want. So, SD card formatted. 17 seconds to go on the RAR file. Let's do this. Let's head into our files and start seeing if we can find it to unzip it. Okay, hopefully it's gonna pop up in here any second. Beautiful new ArcOS operating system. Where is it? What's it going to look like? What's it going to be called? I'm looking for a RAR file. I'm probably going to be very blind and miss it. You'll all be screaming at me. It's there. But as I say, we're doing this for the first time on the clock. So bear with us. We've got the Shining Force RAR file. Another great game. There it is at the bottom. I mean, I mean, of course it is. Okay. So, I mean, it looks like it's all fully downloaded and unzipped, but it's not. So right click, make sure you've got seven zip already installed on your computer. Okay, we've got three minutes to go. Show more options and hopefully 7-Zip will pop up. Looking at my phone, looking at this screen. Okay, extract files. Hopefully this will tell me that all dot dot dots where I can extract it to. No, don't want to extract to. I don't want to extract it. Oh, yes, the three dots. Okay, as you can see, I'm no expert on this stuff, so I do want to show that anyone can do it. Okay, I'm going to put it in this file, which is cunningly titled ArcOS Update Stuff. So, unzippity doodah. Okay, so this is going to take some time too. It reckons about two minutes. Woohoo! That's not going to leave us long, is it? Not going to leave us long. We've got to get this done by 10 minutes 20. Hopefully, it'll speed up because we've still got to flash it with Rufus. Once we have downloaded, we've still got to flash it with a Rufus. So, oh, it's speeding up a bit now, is it? Come on, you can do it. Okay, so get Rufus open. In the meantime, no label SD card will be the device. And we're going to have to select the disk. Yeah, we're going to select it from here, are we? We're all learning together. Yes, and we'll be selecting it from there. Okay, so cancel out of that until our beautiful new ArcOS has down, uh, sorry, it has extracted. Okay, I'm gonna break it you guys. Don't think we're gonna make the 10, or the 10 minute 20 marks so at the eight minute limit. Well, we might do it within 10 minutes. So bear with us. I wanna show you how even your average Joe, like me, can hopefully get the new ArcOS installed. I think it's still quick. 10 minutes be quick. So while this is going on, make yourself a brew and you could probably start thinking about what ROMs you want to get. Now, you'll have ROMs already, even on the most basic 64 gig card. If you chose the operating system only, this will still come with something like you know 15,000 games. So what you can do is save these onto your computer, save the ROMs, and then you'll need to go into each folder. So for instance, your Super Nintendo or Super Famicom folder on here, and then select all, and then copy them onto the Easy ROMs partition, and particularly the SFC or 
Super Nintendo subfolder. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time, but it is worth doing. And that way you can pick and choose which games you want. So yeah, on the one SD card trick, you'll see that we also we have the operating system on the one hand, and then the card will be partitioned, and you'll have the uh, easy ROMs place to put all your lovely games. Okay, so let's pop that back down. So yeah, Joey Retro Handheld says to throw away the stock card, but we say keep it because you can use the ROMs from there if you don't want to be going and downloading things because you might get yourself into a bit of bother, a moral quandary, let's say, if you do that. But if you use the ROMs that are given to you, well, it's probably all right, isn't it? It's not for us to say, right, we're nearly there. Okay, focus. So it has now hopefully gone into the place where you wanted it to go, which is going to be our Arthasis ArcOS update stuff. Is it there? Hooray, it's there. Okay, let's open it. Let's get it on. Bang the drum. Yep, that image. Perfect. That is what we're after. Okay, now let me just have a look at the computer. That's all good. We've selected the device is the SD card that we're flashing new system to. And we've selected it and it's there. And we keep everything else as standard. And hit start. It's going to destroy everything on our formatted memory card. That's fine. Do it, man. Just do it. This may take a while, it says. Writing image. Okay, now we're going to see how long it takes. Oh, we are well over the eight minute mark. I am sorry. I massively underestimated how long this will take. Uh, as you can see, we are now also taking a long time to flash the new operating system onto the memory card, but it'll be worth it. Also, and we say this in our tips and tricks video for the R36S, our very popular video, um, that use Rufus, don't use Belena Etcher. Rufus is the one. No one's ever had any problems with Rufus. Um, Joey Retro Handhelds and I think um, Russ from Retro Game Course say to use Belena Etcher. That's all well and good, except it's not because the developer of ArcOS, Christian, he says, specifically, do not use Belena Etcher. So use Rufus, um, use 7-Zip, use SD Formatter. If you don't know where to get those, they're all in our Tips and Tricks R36S Beginner's Guide, which you can find on the YouTube. Okay, so we are about 27, 29, 28% here. What I'm going to do now is, if you'll indulge me, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that my website, Hyperplay RPG, sells. Um, if you're into role-playing games, fantastic. You might enjoy this. If you're not, then, you know, skip forward, by all means, if you haven't already. Um, so, yeah, we produce and create uh, video game books, manuals and maps, particularly in the role-playing game arena. And our latest book is... Made in conjunction with RPG Fan. And this is my own personal copy, so it's a little bit dogged because, yeah, I know, a bit immodest of me, but I just love reading it. Hundred, oh, sorry, 291 RPGs and a few visual novels reviewed in here. It is absolutely glorious. Is Zelda an RPG? Ooh. Uh, some more than others, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely glorious RPG review card book, which um, we would highly recommend to you, but, you know, it is fantastic. It tells you the pros and the cons of the game. Uh, it gives you two little summaries here, and, of course, the all-important overall score. Sea of Stars. A glowing review. 95%. So, yes, if you are into RPGs at all, highly recommend you head to Hyperplay RPG, probably, you know, while you're downloading the new Arc OS or while you're flashing it to Rufus. How cunning. And grab yourself uh, one of these beauties. It is thick, but small enough to hold in one hand while you're eating your dinner. Reading about games you might never know existed, like Necro Barista. It's a new one even on us. So, yeah hyperplayrpg.com if you fancy, like I said, it was a bit dogged, properly dogged 
It's my well-loved personal copy. The ones we're selling obviously are pristine. Okay, so there you go. RPG fan review card collection. Our latest and greatest. Okay. We also have an English translation, fan translation, of Xenogears Perfect Works. Um, but that's on our eBay page at the moment for reasons, because it's that, yeah, uh, a little bit of a, um, I don't know. So it's a fan translation. So we're saying that you've got to own the original Perfect Works first before you get the English version from us, because we don't want to tread on anyone's toes or upset anyone. Um, but yeah, Xenogears Perfect Works also available. Um, if you type in English, Xenogears Perfect Works. On eBay, you'll find it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Is it going to be done? Finally, a refreshing partition layout. This may take a while. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. Right. Oh, there's a problem with the drive. No, I'm not going to scan the drive. Problem is, it's going to be amazing. That's the problem. Okay, I think we're done. Let's see. Okay, make sure we eject this stuff properly. Uh, to be honest, lost all hope of keeping a track of the time on this. But... Hopefully you can see, if it's not quick, it's at, le at least easy. Okay, we've come out of all that. So let's pop it out and bang it in. Right. Where's our new whitey guy? Okay, so it goes in this way, not upside down, like the RG35XX Plus, which bizarrely has the memory cards upside down. Anyway, we have this. Let's take off the screen protector because we want it to be glorious. Okay, fingers crossed this works. If it doesn't, what a waste of quarter of an hour. Ooh, is that good? Could be good. Is it going to do stuff? Come on, do stuff. Otherwise this video may never see the light of day. Oh, it's doing stuff. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that's good. Text is always good. As long as it's moving. Well, static text. Oh yes. I caramba and we're in by the look of it. I'm going to keep fading in now, so I'm just going to shut the computer, and you're going to see all our rubbish on the table, but fine. Yeah, you see that? 12, 22, and you get the scrolling text. It's happening. It's working. It's working. That was Star Wars fan, yeah. I mean, of course. All geeks are Star Wars fans, surely. Unless you're a Star Trek fan. This is exactly what you want to see, by the way. Reams and reams of beautiful scrolling text. Nice blue light on there. Sometimes it comes up with a red light, but you can change that in the menu. We haven't, but it's come up blue now. I mean, wow. A lot of that text looks like it's saying exactly the same thing. But of course, that's going to be folders and partitions and subfolders and files. It's all good. So this video spiraled out of control to nearly 20 minutes, but we've done it. So that's it. And once you've... Uh, Seen all this glory, you can um, turn off your R36S, uh, take the memory card back out, pop it back into your computer, and you will see it will have been partitioned, and you'll have the operating system, and you'll have another partition called Easy ROMs. And as we said earlier, while we were wittering on, while it was unzipping or whatever, um, how delicious. Uh, you just put all your ROMs into there. Completed it. And yeah, easy ROMs partition, just as we say. So you put your ROMs into the OR, the you know, stock OS ROMs, which is probably safer from a <clears throat> moral point of view. And there you go. That is how to update your R36S super easily with no special kit, apart from a new SD card. It's not that special. Onto your R36S. And you can see 1222. 2023 and we're in there you go guys it's got some pico 8 games in there remarkably even though you shouldn't really have any roms at all but how fantastic what fun celeste okay and if you really want the proof you can see down at the bottom 12 22 2023 and all your games are going to play better now because this is a much more stable polished version of ArcOS. I'll stop wittering now. So please like this video and subscribe. Sorry it's gone on for so long. I hope it's been of use, even if you've, you know, whizzed through most of our witterings. 
Okay, so it doesn't like Pico 8 much. Oh, it does. And there you go. Celeste is even on there already. The original Celeste. So fantastic. Okay. Happy gaming, guys. Please do give us a like and subscribe. We've got lots more coming, including a new grip for this beauty that we've been developing. Yeah, you see I'm used to playing RPGs and not platformers. Take care, guys. Please give us a like and a subscribe. Really appreciate it. And have an awesome week. Bye-bye.